Hi, I'm Mandy Jo Haneke, and I'm running for an at-large seat on Amherst's new town council. I've lived in Amherst with my family for seven years and have enjoyed every minute of it. We live in a great town with terrific places to shop, eat, play, and visit. Yet Amherst faces some big challenges in the next three years and beyond. I'm running so that I can be a part of finding solutions. Experience matters when tackling the town's challenges. My service in town government and the community has prepared me for this. I was vice chair of the Charter Commission, sat for seven years on town meeting, served on the committee that proposed and implemented electronic voting in town meeting, and currently serve as the renter representative to the Rental Bylaw Implementation Group, which looks at ways to improve the rental registration program. I am a court-appointed special advocate at Friends of Children in Hadley, putting my legal training to good use helping children. I was president of the Pioneer Valley Symphony for three years and have served on the board for six. In all of these positions, I have worked collaboratively with others to find the right solutions to the issues at hand. So what do I want to accomplish on a town council? I want Amherst's government to actively engage all residents, including those who have traditionally been left out, as we work towards solutions to the challenges facing Amherst. While on the Charter Commission, I learned that there are many voices in Amherst that are not regularly heard in town affairs. And as vice chair, I worked hard to listen to all opinions, including by organizing and attending over 16 public forums. We held these sessions at various locations in town and at a variety of times in order to engage as many residents as possible. We even had booths at the downtown block party and the first day of school celebrations. If elected to the town council, I will continue these efforts to ensure that every resident has a voice. This will require partnerships with apartment complexes, nonprofits, and businesses in order to host meetings in locations and at times that are more likely to draw non-traditional participants into our government. It will also require regular requests to town officials, boards, and committees to ensure that they reach beyond the traditional times and places to hold meetings. We need to go where the people are instead of making the residents come to us. I'll make sure that happens. My next priority will be dealing with Amherst's aging infrastructure. Our library system, especially the Jones, is a gem for both our own residents and those in surrounding communities. We need to make sure that the programming and facilities are updated for how children, families, adults, and seniors use the libraries today and in the future. Replacement of two of our elementary schools is on the horizon. Our students deserve updated, safe, and healthy buildings that promote learning instead of hinder it. We need a new fire station south of town, one that's been discussed for over 50 years. And our DPW building is falling down. The voices of Amherst's voters matter on these projects, projects that represent a huge investment. They require thoughtful and fiscally responsible legislators scrutinizing them. And if a capital project is approved by the voters at the ballot box, then I will find a responsible way to fund it, even if I personally don't support the project. For projects that do not need voter approval to move ahead, I will work my best and hard to determine whether Amherst residents support it. I'll use my judgment on the necessity of the project and the cost versus the benefit realized, all while asking the team proposing it hard questions. I want to see Amherst thrive in all aspects of government, by involving more residents in decisions, by improving our infrastructure, and through responsible, coherent, and deliberate planning that strives to maintain the character of our town. The First Town Council will also set important operational precedents. My focus on open, transparent, and inclusive decision-making will result in processes that give a voice to Amherst's residents. My experience, leadership, and collaborative efforts, both in government and the community, will be valuable to the First Council. If elected, I will jump right in and represent Amherst well. So please vote for me, Mandy Jo Haneke, on September 4th and November 6th for at-large town councillor. Thank you.